How are you doing? How you doing? Good, 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 good. I'm good, I'm good. So, were you a big fan of Dracula before before you got off with this role? Well, yeah, well, I suppose as a kid and whatnot, I kind of, uh, uh, any opportunity, like, you know, at Halloween and whatnot, you'd usually be going for the, the, the Dracula costume and everything, but um, it was probably something that kind of just uh, uh, sort of not really delved into until the, the script came in front of me and I had a, look, a chance to look at the material, and it just, uh, it gets you excited again. There, there's something about vampirism and Dracula himself, I mean, the you know, sort of the, the leader of them all, that sort of you know gets everybody a little bit enticed and a little bit excited. So it was it was great to kind of be part of that journey. I really like that they're going back to Dracula's origin in this one. Think about the characters you played. If you can have an origin for any character which you played to learn more about your character, which one would it be? Um, in in terms of what? I'm sorry. Uh, could you repeat in terms the of the? I would say I like the way they're going back to Dracula's origin yeah, in this one. Sorry, so you. any character that you played, would you like to see the origin of? Um, I think that uh, uh, I guess I mean just to to speak about the. The, the, the one I'm on right now, I suppose, with Dracula and Thor, I think the character of Dimitru, um, the fact that uh, it is an origin tale with a twist, it has that factual base, which is, you know, like, you know, the Turks' failed invasion to, to kind of sweep through Europe. I mean, a lot of historians are still baffled by how that happened. Um, but these men, these guys, people like Vlad Tepes, his, his comrade Dimitru, um, their upbringing, I think, even Dimitru's upbringing, his origins, the world that he would have come through, like, you know, like combat schools, literally from almost the age of, you know, when he could walk. I think uh, across the board, I think Dracula Untold offers kind of enticing ideas for, for all the characters. I mean, where do they all come from? So it's, uh, it's just nice to just play my part in the middle of that. And speaking of the combat, there's a lot of really cool action, some of which you participate in. How challenging was that to shoot? Um, it, it's, you know, they're, they're always kind of wonderful. There's a, there's a high responsibility, I think, when these scenes come around in that they, they are a form of narrative. I mean, they are pumping that story forward. Um, the, the movie is moving forward like a, a you know, freight express train, so you need to kind of play your part in that. But with me, with the action sequences, I'm a kid in a candy store. I love all of that stuff. And uh, Dimitri, he gets stuck in there as well at times. And uh, it was just, um, uh, it was really kind of fast and furious kind of paced thing. It was great. I mean, is there any stunt which will come for you like, okay, I actually don't want to do it? Is there any criteria for you to say no to a stunt? No, I don't think that, I don't, you know, with me, uh, with stunts, just gimme, gimme, gimme. And, and, and until one of the grown-ups upstairs stands in and says, like, you know, you're not allowed to do that, I'll just keep going. I'm just, uh, I'm like, a, I'm, I'm the accelerator pedal, I'll just keep at it. <laughs> and there's a lot of physical stunt work, there's also a lot of CGI stuff as well. Sort of, how so close was what you're imagining to what was in the final film? Well, this is it. I mean, like, you know, uh, Gary Shore is such a, uh, um, an exciting new prospect. He's a new sort of star on that kind of like, you know, that, that, that sky of, of directors out there at the moment. So I think what people are going to get are, are going to be really blown away by the, 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 the sort of luxurious splendor that is his kind of directing style. I mean, visually, it's, it's quite unique to anything that's out there right now. So I, I just got to say, I was blown away from it. Like, you, your brain does kind of wander and you sort of think to yourself, you read the script and you sort of you, you pitch it in your own head. But then when you see it, finally, it's, it's, it's very, very exciting. And what's next for you after this one? Um, right now, I'm kind of in preparation for a CBS miniseries called The Dove Keepers, uh, being produced by uh, Mark Burnett and Roma Downey. And um, yeah, two-part miniseries, kind of uh, at the backstory again, sort of historical context. It's the uh, the siege by the the Roman army upon the Judean stronghold of Masada, and um, it's uh, really looking forward to getting involved in that. We start in about three weeks. Well, good luck with that, and good luck with your premiere, man. Enjoy it. Thank you.